Hello again. So this section introduces radians, which is an alternate way of talking about angles. I mean, in the same way that you can talk about distance in miles or kilometers, you can talk about angles in degrees or radians. And as usual, I'm just going to provide kind of the most important overview, or I should say an overview of the most important material in this uh, video. And then you should read the section as well. Radians are defined in terms of distance and in terms of this wrapping function that you have been using. Let me see. So let me first say we're going to talk about angles here. We're going to talk about angles that look like this, mostly. We've got this famous unit circle that we've been using. And we'll look at angles where the x-axis provides the initial um, line segment. So we'll look at angles like this. And the key observation of this section is that you can use distance and you can use the wrapping function to define an angle. So an example we've come back to a few times. I think in both the videos so far, we've looked at the wrapping function applied to the number one. So we start here and we travel a distance of one. And we end here. And from, from the previous video, we can say we end at that point, that the cosine of 1, comma, the sine of 1. Well, the key observation of this section is that if you take this initial point and you take this terminal point and you, let's try that again, and you connect these points to the origin, you create an angle of precisely this form. And this angle, I don't know how many degrees it is, but we are providing or we're introducing this new way of measuring angles called radians. And this angle, which we produce by taking the wrapping function and applying it to the number one, this angle is one radian. Um, looking at another example, let's look at the wrapping function 
apply to we haven't looked at a negative number recently. Let's take the wrapping function and apply it to negative pi over two. So we've got our unit circle. We start here and we walk along the unit circle. Because this number is negative, we walk in the clockwise direction. And we didn't talk about this a lot in our video, but the textbook talked about it. Again, always read the textbook. Um, negative pi over two, that's a fourth of the way around the unit circle. We wind up right here at the point um, zero comma, negative one. And we've created an angle. Again, if we connect the uh, initial point of our walk with the terminal point, the point we end up at, we create an angle that looks like this. Um, compare this, another example. To three pi over two. We draw our unit circle. We start here. Now three pi over two is positive. So we're going in the uh, counterclockwise direction. And this is three fourths of the way around the circle. So we wind up at the exact same point that we wound up here. We wind up at the point zero comma negative one, but now our angle is different. Our angle is this angle here instead of this angle that you see on the previous frame. Um, in calculus, I mean, I guess this isn't, strictly speaking, a pre-calculus class, so I don't know if most of you are, are planning to take calculus, um, in calculus, we almost exclusively use radians. There's a lot of really nice kind of calculus equations that become a lot uglier if we use degrees. But um, but it all depends on the setting. Like in engineering settings, I think um, think people mostly use degrees instead of radians. So both of these ways of measuring angles have their places where they're used. Um, in terms of, it could potentially be a little confusing now if I talk about an angle of three. Um, what's that mean? Because now we have degrees and we have radians. And the answer, there, there's a convention for this. 
if we just have a number by itself, then we are using radians. So if we want to talk about an angle of three, if we write this, we mean three radians. Um, degrees have a symbol. If we want to talk about degrees, we use the special degree symbol to indicate that. So if we just have a number by itself, no degree symbol, then we are talking about radians. So there's our introduction to this material. And again, want to emphasize this is an introduction. There's stuff in the textbook. We This might get a little tedious, but I really do want to emphasize it. There's, um, there's stuff in the textbook that we haven't covered in this video. We haven't talked about converting from degrees to radians or vice versa to name an obvious submission, but this should get you started.